Police say the woman and her child were not seriously hurt, but say they were terrified when they flagged down a police officer who happened to be passing through this complex on Reed Canal Road. He's just grabbing me and punching me. Where'd he punch you? Everywhere. We're not identifying the alleged domestic violence victim, but she was shaking as she sat with her toddler daughter. She told officers her live-in boyfriend, 28-year-old Scott Childs, beat her and yanked the three-year-old girl around their apartment by the hair. Hey, what's going on? Come talk to me. When an officer knocked on the suspect's front door, he slammed it shut, not once, but twice. Then, say police, ran out the back. Police found the suspect a short distance away, angry, using foul language, refusing commands to cooperate. Officers briefly held the suspect at taser points. Stop. What am I charged with? Though officers were able to get handcuffs on Childs, they say he continued to fight with them, allegedly kicking one officer several times. Once in the patrol car, investigators say Childs repeatedly kicked at a window, ultimately damaging it. Police say then at the jail, corrections officers had to use force, including pepper spray, to subdue Childs. He can have no contact with the victims if he posts the $22,000 bond. Investigators say the police officer who was kicked during this confrontation went to the hospital to get treatment for a knee injury. In South Daytona, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. We've also learned from police that the adult female victim has been in a relationship with the suspect for over a year and is currently seven weeks pregnant with his child.